I'm going to try to make a poster for Cooper Black and Cooper is a really fun typeface. I was looking for inspiration just to see what's been done before and I don't see anything that's really that eye-catching except for this one. This really did catch my eye because I just think that it highlights the really fun bubbly letters here. So I was going to use this as my inspiration. So then I type out all caps and then lowercase and then I just outline the letters and I ungroup it so then I can grab these and just drag them into place. So I just started placing these here and I wanted to kind of cluster the letters together just to create something similar to this where it may not make sense or I is, is forced to read it type pa gra fi which is kind of backwards but I don't mind it because it's really a really unique fun typeface anyway. So I think you can get away with going like unconventional. So you'll see that I'm using a capital C and a capital B to indicate that these are separate words. These should actually be the same color black. I'm not sure why they're not. So let me grab the same. So it should be like that. And right now I'm just using uh, Greek text for that. So then the next one I did, I thought I could put the type specimen around the letters. So for that, I just copied the O here. Then I pasted it in the front and then I use my type on a path. I noticed that it won't let me do it. So then I have to release the compound path first. Like that. And then I don't worry about this getting plugged up because I can take care of it later. Then I click right on the edge and it fills with the type. And I got rid of the counter like that. And then I just raised it up and you can uh, raise it even more using your baseline shift. So then you select the type with your type tool and then if you want to go into the character panel this is where the baseline shift changes. So I like to use my shortcuts option shift up arrow so it goes farther away or down depending on which arrow you press. So I did the same for this. Um, I just used the exact same circle holding down the option or Alt if you're on a PC. Then I drag it over and I rotate it. And I did notice that it was too wide. I wanted the circle to be more narrow. So what I did was I go into this path and you'll see that these lines here with your direct selection tool, these lines are like, once the cursor changes, then you can move it. So this is the starting point. This is the end point and this is the midpoint. And that doesn't really apply to me right now because I'm just using flush left. But you can use any of these. I'm gonna just drag it around to the part that I want. So I kind of dragged it here because this the arc on this was narrower than where it was, where it was so wide like that. The next version I tried was changing Cooper to a white color and then leaving black in black. But then I thought I wanted more contrast on Cooper since that's the beginning. So I did it opposite. So black and then white, which I thought was kind of fun because it's just a play on words. Then I added the numbers using a similar circle that I did for these ones. Made the numbers a little bit bigger so that they fill the space a bit. Here's that line again where you can just rotate it where you need it to be. Then I thought there's something in here that has, maybe I could split it, split the color. And then I let the body copy just kind of overlap. Because Cooper is so bubbly, maybe instead of a straight line, I could make it kind of wavy. So I thought about doing a like a an arc like that. But then I thought, kind of not feeling it. So then I tried circles instead. So here's my circles. And this was really fun. I just, let me just delete these. So I just went to the ellipse and just positioning the circles kind of like that. And then I went to here. I just moved the circles around rather than being in a straight line. I thought it could be really looking fun. Maybe it could be like um, like clouds. I still couldn't quite figure out what to put down here. It just seemed empty. I tried putting the date. I even tried putting the specimen down here. I'll show you what I did. I just did that. I tried this in white. Just to have a bit of variation, I decided to tint back some of my black because I'm only limiting it to just black and one color. So I tried that and then I removed these ones. 
in the body copy, then I, I actually wrote this here. When this was all the same size, it seemed like it needed something to indicate the beginning of the paragraph. I made the name bigger, but then I wanted to somehow keep type around the circles. To fill the space, I tried white circles. What I decided to do was add a drop shadow. This creates depth. We have an even margin at the top and the right and the bottom and the left. It was so fun just capturing the whimsical feel of this really great typeface. And then even a small detail like this, I didn't think of this until the very end, coloring these orange. And that's it.